father and mother have always stood by me and my father and mother have always made me feel that if I can think, I'll do it. And I think that is what my father and mother mean to me. Thank you, Mama, for all that you've done, Mama, that all this is created by my mother and no one else. And my mother has gone all out for the last four months. She's worked for, I think, 18, 19 hours a day. And I'm extremely grateful to Mama and thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I would like to thank each and every one of you present here. I know everyone has made it to Jamnagar to make me and Radhika feel special. We are all honored and humbled to have all of you here. I am sorry if, I've call, if, we, if we have caused any inconvenience to anyone. Please do forgive us both the families, so uh, I hope everyone is going to enjoy the coming three days. And I would just like to thank my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother, my sister-in-law, brother-in-law, for making uh, this event so memorable for me and Radhika. I think my family has gone all out to make us feel special. Everyone has been sleeping for less than three hours a day for the last two, three months. And it's extremely, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that I can share this joy with everyone out here. Uh, I really don't have words to express my gratitude. As many of you know, my life has not always been entirely a bed of roses. I've also experienced the pain of thorns. I've faced many health crises since childhood, but my father and mother have never let me feel that I've suffered. My father and mother have always stood by me, and my father and mother have always made me feel that if I can think, I'll do it. And I think that is what my father and mother mean to me. And uh, I am eternally grateful now I'll come to Radhika. I'm 100% the lucky one. There's no doubt about that. I also don't know how I got Radhika. So I am definitely the most uh, luckiest here. Uh, Radhika has been, uh, for the last seven years, it feels like I met Radhika yesterday. But every day I fall more and more in love. Like my brother-in-law says that when he used to see my sister, he had volcanoes and fountains going up in his heart. I would say I have earthquakes and tsunamis going in my heart when I see Radhika. So, thank you Radhika for everything. Viren uncle, Shaila auntie, Anjali Aman, thank you for welcoming me into your family with open arms. I am extremely, extremely thankful and grateful for having the patience for the last seven years Finally, the day is coming. And thank you, uh, Aman. Thank you. Uh, I would like to take blessings from my grandmom, Kokila Mami. So, as my mom, I think my mom said it, but Kokila Mami comes from Jamnagar. And Kokila Mami has been a big inspiration. My grandmother has been a big inspiration to me. I always take motivation. My grandfather, wherever he is, he'll be blessing me. My Nani has taught me how to be religious. She is a Nagar Brahmin. Very proudly, she tells me that I'm a Nagar Brahmin. So she teaches me everything about from, I've stayed mostly with my Nani when I was young. So she taught me everything. And I have Radhika's Nani here. Radhika's Nana is blessing us from top. My, my Nana is also blessing us from top. I'm sure they'll all be extremely happy. And I'm, over the next two days, you're going to see a small part of one Tara, I think, tomorrow and day after. I hope it's as magical for all of you as it is for us. One Tara has been my passion for the last... We started the first rescue center, I think, in 2008, when I was, I don't know, 10, 12 years old. And it's been only possible because of my parents and my family's support. My mother and my father have always uh, supported me and always taught me to serve. 
and uh, this was my giving back to society. I started off small and then, as my grandfather said, dare to dream. So I dreamt and then I made it a reality. So today it's, uh, tomorrow you'll see our, I don't want to talk much about it. I want you all to experience it. And uh, thank you, I don't want, I know that we have already uh, prolonged the show time, so I don't want to talk more. I'm going to make my better half speak on my behalf.